Hello there, this is Dr. Michelle, and welcome to another episode of Health at Home, where we cover different topics of health and hopefully kind of turn it upside down on its head, think about it in a unique and different way, and then give you real at-home solutions that you can implement immediately. All right, what is salt? I love this quote. It says, always have a unique character like salt. Its presence is not felt, but its absence makes all things tasteless. I thought that was cute. So what is it? Well, salt is technically sodium chloride. It's about 40% sodium and about 60% chloride. It's used to flavor food. It's used as a stabler, um, used as a binder, and even used for things like meat preservation because salt inhibits bacterial growth. So it makes it a really great food storage method, hence beef jerky. Sodium also promotes healthy hydration levels and electrolyte balance in the body, um, which is necessary because all of your cells, your muscles, your tissues, they all need water and water follows salt. So um, salt helps the different parts of your body maintain the correct amount of fluid. And a lot of times if you don't have enough salt, that can be one of the causes of dehydration. And if we actually get too much sodium in our diet, this is where that common nomenclature comes in about, well, too much sodium leads to high blood pressure and stroke and things like that. Here's one of the reasons it does that. It's because when you get more sodium than you need or extra salt, the kidneys flush out the excess by essentially making salty urine. So if it can't get rid of it fast enough, however, if there's any sort of um, compromised function of the urinary tract or even of the kidneys themselves, then sometimes the body can go, well, what's plan B? Oh, you know what? Let's just accumulate fluid between the cells because we're not harming an organ and that's the next logical place for it to go. And so since water inevitably follows sodium, the volume of fluid in the body increases between the cells. And so, so does the volume of blood. And this means it's a lot harder for the heart to pump through the blood vessels, which means you have a greater deal of pressure through those vessels. What are some other uses for salt? Well, salt is used for removing snow and ice from roads. Um, I'm sure especially you guys that are up in the Northern areas who get snow on a regular basis each year, have seen uh, the, are they called trucks? I don't even know what they're called, but um, there's vehicles that are specifically designed to pave um, or put down ice, uh, uh, sorry, salt along the icy roads to prevent slippage from occurring. Sorry guys, I'm from Texas. <laughs> I didn't grow up with those, um, but you know what I'm talking about. A lot of spas also use salt in massage because it increases circulation to the skin. Uh, and then a lot of times we'll use something like olive oil to moisturize, but the salt is really used to get rid of all the dead skin cells. You can also put it in the cracks in your driveway to kill grass and weeds. It can also keep your windshield frost-free. You can also apply it directly to a bee sting, good for that. It is a natural gargle for a sore throat. So you can make like a saltwater swish and you can gargle with it once a week. Uh, you can also do a whole mouth swish and it's really good for remineralizing the teeth, especially if you do one of the higher mineralization quality salts, such as the Icelandic flake salt or the Celtic salt or even the Himalayan salt. It can also be used to stop a grease fire. So if, if your kitchen ever gets out of control and you can't find a, an extinguisher nearby, grab salt and toss it on the fire. And then in the Philippines, they use salt near newborn babies to protect them from evil spirits. And they also spread it around the house outside to avoid bad spirits. Um, I believe there's also traditions of using salt in... I think Christianity and in Judaism, um, I, I remember in the Bible, they had, they put the salt outside of the door. 
if I'm remembering properly. Anyway, uh, I, it, it, the point being is that the salt and the relationship between the salt and it being protective of evil spirits is apparent in several religions and cultures throughout the world. Um, we're using the Philippines here as an example. Mm -hmm.